or I check this out. A very, very important pattern in Rook and Pawn endgames is the so-called bridge pattern. In order to win the game, White has to use this pattern. Every other move is simply draw. For instance, if you play King to B6, this is not working for White. Black will deliver a couple of checks, and after a couple more moves, Black will sacrifice the Rook for Pawn, will eventually start to push his own Pawn, and White needs to sacrifice the Rook back. It's a thematic draw. In order to win the game, uh, White needs to play the uh, bridge pattern with the move Rook to C5. Whatever Black does now, white is winning you can maybe step back here to d6 but now after the check we have this idea rook to a6 cutting off uh, the connection between the rook and the pawn now it's a winning position again for white if you play even here king to e4 again the same pattern happens we will eventually deliver another check now we play rook to uh, uh, a4 here again there's simply no defense against this kind of an idea white will promote to queen and it's game over here for black